Hello and welcome to the first installment of the basics of Energy Pro. In this video we will be discussing the general functionality of Energy Pro. So as, as many of you already know, Energy Pro is a Title 24 compliance software that has been adopted to different building science trades. And when you start an Energy Profile, you should have already have done an assessment of a home or have an some or have some information about a home or a building. So when you have that information, you go ahead and start a new new file. Go ahead and start a new file here. Let's open that up. So the structure is very similar to the tree structure or the windows tree structure. You start off with a main building with some general information and location and you'll put in that information. Uh, you'll right click and you'll add in our plant. Our plant is our, our plumbing or our hot water system. And then we go ahead and add in our heating and our ventilation and, and air conditioning system. And in this system we'll add in our zones and this zones will represent our rooms or our condition floor areas. Each condition floor area will have exterior walls of some type, a uh, floor of some type, or a roof of some type. And each exterior wall will have a window of some type based on the assessment or the takeoff that you have received about the building. So once you have all the information inputted into Energy Pro, it should look something like this. With uh, different assemblies based on different floors with different R values and assembly types. So once you have that model completed, you can go ahead and choose some calculations. In the calculations, we have three tabs, some options, which give us how we would like to see our calculations ran an alternatives tab which gives us a list of alternatives that we can choose. Uh, these alternatives will be upgrades or some something to compare against based on, on the existing or the, the building that we have proposed or our baseline. So our baseline building will be run will be ran in comparison to these alternatives. So I'm going to go ahead and choose some alternatives which are low cost and have high savings for a building in for a Victorian building building in San Francisco. So some things that are low cost that have big savings for a home like this are of course lowering the building leakage which I have to an around 3000 CFM and I started from around over 3600 CFM so I'm reducing it around 20 percent. I'm also going to be reducing my duct leakage and improving my duct insulation from R2 and 36 percent to improving my duct leakage to 15 percent and improving my duct insulation to R6. And I'm also going to put in a 95% efficient furnace. And that's going from my existing system, which is an old 75% efficient furnace. So I'm going to go ahead and run a res performance, which does a calculation comparison on my baseline building with these alternatives. I'm going to go ahead and do a Greenpoint rated calculation as well. So these HERS tabs, uh, these HERS warnings are something we can ignore for now. All we want to look at are our results which are coming up here and our res performance calculation which should be coming up shortly as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our res performance calculation first. So as you can see, we have our tests in or our baseline 
building load here. And this is based on kilo BTUs per square foot per year. And it gives us a savings on each of our heating, cooling, and our different end uses. And it will give us a site savings calculation in the end. So as you can see, I'm getting a 25% site savings, which is uh, at my meter. These are all my, this is based on uh, all my upgrades. And as you can see, these same upgrades can get me into the Greenpoint rated program as well. I would have needed a score of 142 to get into the Greenpoint rated program and I have a score of 140 based on these upgrades. So some low cost options or upgrades that have some notable savings that can get us into some incentive programs and uh, certificate programs. So uh, thanks for watching the first installment of the Energy Pro Basics. Uh, tune in to the rest of our videos as we have more uh, detailed information on how to build models. Thank you for watching.